<laughs> I bombed this wall myself. You, dude, you're not supposed to say that, Mark. Jesus. Uh, damn. Okay. Nobody's held PS. I mean, uh, that's what graph is. That's what graph writing is about. Let your soul shout out loud and proud. Uh, yeah, sure. I thought was like, <laughs> oh god, I fucking swore off. I bombed this wall myself. Found the security card reader. Find something now, yeah. Huh? Man, so that's where it was. My weed! What's the matter? Dude found my co- I mean the security card. We No, we found now the card found already. We found the card reader. Now you found the machine we're supposed to use the card on. Oh, didn't the old lady give us this? Uh, no, we found it at the security station, I think, or the- Call the police oh, station. Yeah, that. Come on, let's give it a try. Also, put my kush back. Um, no, this Let is mine it now. Age like wine. No, this is mine now. Your, your your weed privileges have been revoked. No, my kush. Wait, we don't know what will happen. Let's think this through. Man, whatever. Come on, fork it over. Uh, okay. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go rip a massive blunt in the corner. Uh, <laughs> Just do a fat rip in the corner. <laughs> Just fucking everyone's like, "Oh God, what did you do?" I also farted when I laid it. You just like ripped the, <laughs> ripped the fattest one out, dude. Everyone's yeah, just calling. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Mark! He just ripped the fattest <laughs> weed That's possible. The fattest fucking rip of a joint you could possibly do. <laughs> it uh. covers the entire building. <laughs> just a smoke effect comes from the game that didn't even come pre-installed with. <laughs> yeah, I mean, imagine someone makes a mod. If this, imagine this, this, this series gets popular enough, someone makes a mod of Mark, but has like red veins coming out of his eyes. He just has red eyes, and he always has a joint in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'm about oh. to take his character portrait, put it in my fucking photo editor, and just do that because I know how to do it. You know what's funny? You to is... Oh, that's not me. What's funny is I made that custom Mark. I could just show one without the glasses, and it's just oh. red eyes. <laughs> That'd be funny. Imagine, like, I'm, I make a comic dub, and it's just show, or comic animation, and it's just, like, fucking Mark ripping the fat, of ripping a fat one in the back, and it's just, like, it turns around, and it's like, you okay? And it's like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. What, what happened? <laughs> I think that's what we should start the actual YouTube recording, because it's too funny. <laughs> it's a good thing we're recording, because when I start streaming, I record it as well. <laughs> Yay! Thank God we can cut stuff. <laughs> Oh boy. You had a bleep. You probably just got the bleep that. I'll probably just cut it entirely. Okay. Well, then. sorry, I didn't mean to go that hard. Well then, Naya, let's go. I like how Naya. Here's the thing. You know what I find really funny is that Naya is a true self-insert. Like compared to the rest of the Persona cast, where they have like genuine personalities, Naya doesn't necessarily have one. Like this is all. This yeah, she kind of does. Yeah, Naoya has doesn't have a personality in this game unless you read the manga. Which, Wait, my character, her? No, Naoya, the MC that I'm playing as. Oh, I mean, like, he has a self-insert blank slate. Yeah. Come on, Naoya, let's go. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Hmm. Oh. Sh Wait a minute. Oh, they remap my triggers. Okay. Not the triggers, bruh. Yeah, what are we gonna do about the triggers? Dude, okay. that voice is so easy to do. Yeah, because it's just you do a stoner voice. It's that simple. I gotta start healing. Oh, this. Oh, man, this bastard used Secunda. Now I'm slower. I wonder how they fought up these attack names. Latin. Which wouldn't be surprised. I still think the weirdest uh, Persona game ever released is Persona X Fire Emblem for, uh, or uh, SMT X Fire Emblem for fucking 
Switch, which is that, like, idle one. It's good. Just weird. Instead of demons, you have essentially Fire Emblem characters. Yeah, but didn't that game kind of oh, suck? You have, like, an SMT fighting system. Tur uh, press turn. That's what it's called. That's what the, what the system's called. Press turn. Yeah, and it's interesting. Oh, look at that. There's a tree down here. Let's go. Hey, you, you think this tw tree produces good bud? Maybe. Maybe. Nelia, I told you. You can't smoke the tree. I want to. No, young man, you, you are not. The tree is on fire. No, young man, you're not. Oh, you're a new Fuji, Mus Fuji Musume. Foolish and joyful. You really want to show off how good you are. You can sing, huh? You're a lousy human. Blah, go home already. I don't really understand what you want to say, so you should listen to me too. Oh, you actually have a keen eye for demons. So many high expectations for you. Look, don't get carried away, you little. Are you? Oh. Yeah, demons suck when it comes to recruiting. So you gotta have an actual convo with them. You can't just spam the same one. You gotta have an actual conversation with them. Oh, that sucks. Like, you can't just, like, spam certain ones. At least they're panicking now. Where do you weak to again? Probably gun since they're flying. Yeah, weak to gun. So that was a thing from the original Persona. That's interesting. I want another person who's like, want to give high schoolers guns? Absolutely. The Literally the entirety of, Persona, of the SMT franchise. Uh, but is there a massive gun problem in America we're reporting this game? They don't care, they love and guns. They don't care why? Uh, Americans love guns. Pretty much. Oh, I was just gonna make a really dark joke and I spit my fucking tongue. In recent news, Persona 1, a game called Persona 1 releases in the U.S. And it has guns in it. This is 90s America, so, uh, we're very concerned about this. What do you say about this, Bob? Jimmy, I say those kids in their violent video games need to be flushed down the toilet in the name of God. Oh, God, I remember those. Those were so stupid. Uh, shouldn't we just... Instead of worrying about guns in video games, shouldn't we take care of the problem IRL? Hell no, it's some damn games! Fucking losers. When in reality, it's just like the changing of the times. There have been literal studies done that show violent video games don't make people violent. <laughs> and yet they refuse to believe it because of the fact little Jimmy just refuses to do the laundry because they're stuck playing games. Uh, they didn't hear a like, chat about religion, did they? <laughs> Nah, I don't think he did. Anyway, to finish that discussion, honestly, the Bible could literally say, like, I was just thinking about this, so using the bathroom, I hate to, like, bring more religion, but honestly, the Bible can say jump off a bridge and a Bible thumper. Not all Christians, I'm talking about the Bible thumpers would probably do it. Oh, boy. Just saying. <laughs> so, the guy commented, messing with P5 fans is my pastime as a P4 enjoyer. <laughs> Hey, I'm a P5 enthusiast. I like all JRPGs, though. Yeah, but he, but realistically, he's only played he has only played P5, and I'm trying to get him to play the rest of the series. <laughs> I really enjoyed P5 because I dealt with some similar experiences at the first uh, that Ryuji went through in high school. And that's why I liked it. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! You're an SMT guy too. Yeah, I'm an SMT guy as well. Mostly SMT my whole. I think ever since, no, not middle school. The beginning of high school is when I really got into SMT. Before, in middle school, I was like a Persona fanboy, because, you know, Persona 4 was probably the time. The Golden and P5 just barely came out. So, at the time, I was a Persona fanboy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the encounter rate is super high. It's like old school, old school SMT. 
as in SMT 1 and 2. I started playing SMT around 2016-ish. Yeah. I got it as a birthday present. Not a birthday present, Christmas present. Yeah. And um, I'm hoping this this month, SMT 5 Vengeance comes out, I'm hoping to stream that. I did do like a, a video about SMT 5 a while back, but I never got back into it. But, oh, wait, they caught you, oh, wait, they caught you before bed? Oh, sick. Well, I hope, hopefully you're fine with, uh, hopefully you're a night owl because, um, uh, me and him tend to stay up a, a while before we finish screen, finish streaming. At least the mm. algorithm pointed you to us though. <laughs> and since Persona has been on a bit of a, bit of a high right now, I'm like, fuck it. Let's just stream Persona. I'm hoping like we beat Persona well, one at some point that we can this move on to This man got me back into Yakuza and instead of finishing Yakuza 0, I've been playing Yakuza 7 and really enjoying it. I didn't like it at first, but now I'm enjoying it. Yeah, because it, it, yeah, Yakuza 7 takes a while to hate up. It's like one of those animes where you have to get like at least through like the first two arcs and get them amazing. Yeah. But yeah, also, yeah, you're right. The alc the encounter rate is like really high, even for like modern JRPG standards, because technically, this is meant to be a what, just a port of the PS1 game, like a straight up port with just some UI changes, and that's pretty much it. <sighs> Wait, that I thought they improved graphics in this. No, it's just a straight up port mostly. Oh, so these are still the PS1 graphics then? Yeah. They just ported. They just. I thought we were looking at improved graphics the whole time. No, this is the PS One graphics. Put it in upscale. Really? Yes. No way. That's what it is. It was a super cheap mate. It was a cheap. It was a cheap port to make because it's like, fuck it. Persona Four put Persona on the map, and they're like, let's introduce the fans to the old old games. And funny enough, Persona sells more worldwide than it does in Japan. <laughs> which is very, which is really fucking funny to me. At least you, at least you know your favorite SMT game. I'm barely scratching the surface. I've only, I've only really played Mainline, uh, and Persona. That's pretty much all the SMT that I've gotten my hands on. Like it's very surface level. It's which is you hear why. Cats in my background audio. I have cats in here. They don't like each other too much. Yeah. They have to deal with it. I oh, he's also 28 too. So damn. <laughs> okay, so we got two boomers. We're watching making him you feel young. Oh god. <laughs> well, um, well, we're technically we're technically elder nerds, not boomers. Fair point. Well, actually, I gotta start using that elder nerds. That sounds amazing. I just made that up on the spot. <laughs> elder nerds. I am gonna use that. I am gonna use that. I'm not gonna call them old school gamers anymore. I'm gonna call them elder nerds. <laughs> the elder nerds said they would return. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I know quick escape is a thing, but the thing is, I'm not a bitch, so I'm not gonna run until everything's dead. <laughs> Wait, you're not a bitch? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not running until everything's dead. <laughs> so back on our old stream, I used to troll the shit out of this man. Yeah, like but I've since mellowed out for YouTube. Yeah, like before we used to stream on like our own thing, like on Twitch. That never really got caught off. That really, that didn't ever really got off the ground. And we we're like, fuck it, let's just start streaming on YouTube. And in the beginning of the year, I got like a boom of like subs and views, and I'm like, fuck it, I'll just start streaming here from now, because what I have our best jokes from our. Oh, sorry. Because I I developed a rule for when I want to stream, is that if a game is long, like an RPG, for example, I'll stream it. But if it's like a game that could play like that's below 10 to 15 hours, then I'm fine with doing a recording of it. Because yeah. I cannot stream for three hours at a time, because my PC... I said when recorder just interrupted a Silent Hill re recording earlier. Yeah, because I was recording Silent Hill, and he in and he interrupted, and we had a we had a decent time. He doesn't put himself on Do Not Disturb. Yeah, I need to start making that a habit of mine. Even though he said I said ten, so I was assuming. Yeah, me and him have different time zones. He he, he like he's like an hour ahead of me. Also, East Coast baby! Yes, and I'm from the country. Let's go. Also, um, the music you're hearing, this is not the original music. Um, this is actually the new music that um, the that the composer made for this game. 
because they, they want to be more in line with current Persona, like Persona Meeks. 3, for example, which is Shush. the one, like Persona 3 and 4, for example, because that's the ones, those are, those are the ones that released at the time. So they wanted to make it more in line with that. And Persona 2 Remake or, re, or the port, try to keep the music in the original vein as possible, as in they just remixed it to still sound like the old one, just with much better sound tools. It's kind of exciting. Yeah, we're in an underground base. Oh, dude, I want to try Strange Journey. It looks so good. But I keep getting, like, conflicting answers. Some say the Redux version is better. Some say the original D original DS version is better. And I'm like... I'm is like, that the one I tried on the original DS that was the sci-fi one? Yeah, it was a sci-fi... Uh, it was a sci-fi one. And, uh, Strange you just reminded me. I need to re-download that ROM. Yeah, I want to try out Strange Journey because it looks good. But, like, I don't know what to pick because... How many because... people say the DS version's the best one because it has... It has, like, the better cutscenes and things? Yeah. Oh, I'm playing the PSP version. Because uh, that's the one I can get that's, like... Has, like, all the upgrades, for example, like, all the modern touch-ups. We both have gaming PCs, and gaming PCs love being emulation machines. Actual good emulation machines. Yeah. Don't tell Nintendo! Oh, well, not Nintendo. This is Sony. <laughs> no, we don't. We both have a Creed. We don't emulate anything newer than PS2. At yeah. I don't. <laughs> like, I'm not sitting here, like, pirating Switch games or anything like that. Yeah. I'm hoping that since Sony developed some tech that allows you to emulate PSP games, because they've been porting a lot of PSP games lately, I'm hoping Atlas finally has the balls to port P1 and P2 PSP on the consoles. Because, you know, now that they have the tech when for it... Fossil Fighters become popular. The fuck? I want to try Fossil Wait, Fighters. I want to try Yeah, if you need an actual DS for it, it's one of those games you have to use the microphone and shit. Oh, wait, no, you can hook a microphone to a DS emulator. I don't yeah. know how good it is. Probably sucks. Because, you know, the mic on the DS uh... sucked too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it did its job for the time. By the way, if y'all want to know what my type of content is, it's a mix. Of, it's a mix of live streams and uh, regular let's play. Where it's like, like I said, I have a rule, where if it's a short game, I just do a simple recording, and just like for like an hour, and then start editing, and that's it. Where if it's a long game, it's an RPG. I explained this earlier. So if you guys want to, so it kind of, it entirely depends. Like I said, I've also. Yo, what is Devil Survivor? Oh, Devil Survivor is like a. Fire, it's I'm not gonna say Fire Emblem. It had it's a strategy SMT game and it's really is it good. Now? That sounds fun. It is a really it's I've heard it's really fun and I want to check it out. Don't at mind some point. if I do uh, site I can't say the name of because I don't want it getting taken down. Hold on, let me see. Is he say anything? Okay, he's. So I decided to play Redux and ignore everything else. And now the only thing took away from the DS version for me was that it was harder. I just went with Redux. Oh, yeah. I think that was the, one of the main complaints I heard, where with Redux... People got super mad that Redux had health bars for some reason. It's like, oh my god, they added health bars to my no, video game. No, it wasn't that. They got... Like, oh, you're near. And... Oh, you know, how do I say this? It's not, no, it's not because of that. It's because um they added a lot of quality of life improvements that kind of affected the balancing. Where um, in SMT4, they added these things called... Oh, no, not in SMT4. It was in Strange Journey. Or when was it again? Which was it? Oh wow, I... the fairy's not naked for once. Which game was it that introduced the app system? Because I know SMT... SMT4 is when I was introduced to the apps. Which, by the way, this man hates SMT4 because it pisses him off. Fuck SMT4. I burned all my fucking street mileage just to stay alive in that game. And I traveled to Tri-State Area getting those street mileage, damn it. <laughs> yeah... If you want, like, there's a bunch of UI mods on the on Game Banana, if you want to check it out, that fixes some of the UI elements. That's the one I, do I downloaded, like, a, a one for Persona 2. Yeah, and... <laughs> yeah. Heal like, us, I took please. my 3DS to New York. I took it to Pennsylvania. I traveled all over the Tri-State area to get them street miles, and the fucking Grim Reaper took them from me, because he a dick. If I remember correctly, like, SMT4 muscle drinks actually didn't really do much for you, where it's like, there's a random chance it would give you like a status effect, right? That's what I assume. 
I never bought like any healing items that give my think guy status effects because I'm like I'd rather just not heal at all that round. Yeah. Yakuza has a few of them. Dude, I don't know what it is with Sega lately, but their games have been really, really good like since the PS4. They realize they got a new CEO and realized we got to up our game, <laughs> literally. Literally, like if they were to make a like let's say a streaming console or which is the most likely or like a gaming like pc type rig thing they would have an amazing launch lineup they'd have all the sonics they'd have all the yakuza's they would have all the total wars and that's not even mentioning the myriad of other series they own yeah i remember yeah this man keeps talking about it where apparently like um with all the ip sega owns they would have a hell of a jrpg console they would have a hell of a lineup yeah, that's why they would have a hell with a lot of RPGs. No, I'm you. Takes off a mask and he's a demon. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. I want a spell card. Give me that. Give me your fucking spell card. I activate fucking pot of greed, motherfucker. I draw two cards, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Obtain the Fuji Musum Musume spell card. Let's go. Dude, only 90s kids are going to get that joke. 100%. Alright, let's see. What to do here? Hmm. Yo, Maki's freaking portrait looks like she's about to stab a bitch. Well, she did look sick the first time we met her, so... Bitch, give me that gun! I'm a shooter cracker! Boom! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to say that one. <laughs> oh, that's a clip. <laughs> oh, God damn it, how big is this fucking dungeon? Because I'm trying to map out the whole thing. Because I don't want to miss anything. That's what your mama said. <laughs> God damn it. Speaking of which... I'm s <laughs> you get you're probably gonna look at me weirdly after this is like I'm skipping my cousin's graduation party to just to stream with you so you're welcome oh thank you you know what's funny is that my cousin's literally like a neighborhood away like literally just got like, like a minute or two really he's that far away he's I mean, you could have told me you had a party and we could have just delayed this till tomorrow I, I didn't even want to go because I'm not a party guy oh I'm not either Dude, I'll go to a party and I'm like, what corner can I hide in that I don't have to speak to anyone? Yep, yep, that's what I would have done, because I'm like, um, yeah, I am not a party person. I would have immediately just, like, went into hiding and became a monk for the rest of the party. I go to parties for food, that's about it. Pretty much, yeah, same as I. Same with barbecues, especially barbecues. Barbecues, though, are I a go whole... for food and potential beer. Barbecues, though, are a whole different story. Because, you know, I, I'm Texan. I gotta keep up with the stereotype. Oh, dude, I wanna try Texas barbecue. Apparently it's the best in the country. It is. And don't let and don't let anyone trick you otherwise. The yeah, Jersey is, isn't exactly known for their meat. We're known for our pizza. And our ice cream, but not our meat. Wasn't New York... Oh, wait, New York's known for bagels. Never mind. I was gonna say, New York can go die in a fire if they think they have better pizza than we do. Then there's, then there's Chicago. <laughs> I do want to try Chicago deep dish, though. Which, for some reason, New York has a rivalry with Chicago over pizza. Apparently, Chicago deep dish is essentially like a uh, casserole, almost. Yeah, and the thing is, a lot of like Italian people get upset at it. And I'm like, the cheese is under the sauce. What are you talking about? It's like a fondue when you think about it with cheese in it. Dude, it's like super cheesy. Like the stretch is amazing. Have you ever had it? Yes, it's amazing. Cause they have like a layer of they essentially you essentially make a pizza but in reverse. Sounds like a calzone then. No, you have the bread and then you put the meat on the bottom, the cheese in the middle, and the sauce on top. Instead of the reverse, where it's the sauce in the bottom, the cheese in the middle, and the meat on top. I know is the best pizza you'll find in New Jersey is from a place called Sawmill, and it's called Boardwalk-style pizza. The slices are bigger than your head. 
Oh god. You know in Canada they call uh, nickels and pennies loonies and toonies. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Blame Canada. Dude, the Canadian language is just the English language, but funnyified. Yeah, because they add a bit of French in there. You got your loonies, you got your toonies. Ah, Canada. You're not a real country. Don't lie to yourselves. At least have the one Canadian in here. It's like, I take offense to that. <laughs> Listen, Canada's just America. To, just North America. North, North. No, even Northern America. <laughs> even more North America. I can sit here and make jokes about Canada all day. I actually would rather live in Canada sometimes. But I can just sit here and make jokes about Canada all day. <laughs> Listen, we're having barbecues. They're still in their fucking coats. Uh, Sorry, Canadians. You know who you are. Yeah, therefore, we can make the jokes all about you. I love the one where it's like 20 degrees and they're fucking barbecuing. That's amazing. That's a great one. Makes sense. Like, for God's sakes, my best friends are both Mexican. Here's the velvet velvet room. Thank God. All right, so I'm going to make some personas. Guided fusion. Let's see Would what I like can... Diffuse a persona. Hervashi, Pyrojack, Faleg, Sati, Anubis. Ooh, Anubis. Level 32, can you even... Was this a game where you can wield any level persona? If that's the case, then I'll be so broken. That's cool artwork. Never mind. It's like, that is way too strong, you idiot. Oh my god, it's taking forever! This is why I prefer to stream these games, because, you know, I don't have to be alone in a recording. Because it takes a while. Yeah, it takes a hot minute. And also, they can see the suffering I go through with editing all this shit. Yeah. Because a lot of this takes forever! <laughs> Cutting it all down into bite-sized pieces. Yep. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Didn't we cut didn't you cut like a good hour out of the last persona of it? Yeah, I cut like a like a good hour and a half or an hour fifteen minutes. What was it you cut? Just us talking about random shit? Yeah some random shit I kept in, some of like got rid of because some of them were like really weird and dumb. That were like were not even re re like super funny, like it was like some serious combos that like, didn't really matter. Grenade launcher that Mark has. It's a shotgun. Oh, it looks like a grenade launcher from the animation. Ah, <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, he ran away. <gasps> oh boy. And you keep making the joke that one is better than five. Yeah, because it's a funny joke. I think the comment is they're about to make you eat your own words in a f probably a few hours. Huh. There's gotta be a way. Oh, there is an elevator. But I gotta take the stairs. Okay. I know where the stairs are. Thank God. Separate thing called SBO the Early Years. Which would explain the main character's backstory separately from the main story. That was a mistake, Takeda. We'll leave her to be. There's nowhere for her to go. 
Come on, put this way. I can start the main says, story with the uh, yes, sir. He's definitely in there. Are you ready, Nanya? Now, yeah, okay. First off, safe state. Hey, asshole. Who's there? Who's there? Oh, you got this. Who's there? More, more children? How'd you get in here? Con Takeda, Condotti's right-hand man who carries out the Beck's legal operations. Oh, this, this is a disgrace, Takeda. First that brat, and now this. Why did my company become a nursery? When did? Takahisa Kandori, the ambitious branch president of Sebek. Sinister rumors circulate about Sorry, him. Sorry, that dude just looks like he talked like that. See, I'm changed, Kandori. Look an ass in the lion's skin. Pushing your luck, aren't you? It's better insight you can know about this. My, my. The young master of Nancho group. No, the old man knows nothing. But this is preposterous. Your mother would spank you if she knew you had stopped, stooped to breaking and entering. I'm evil! Or is that your senile butler's job? Oh shit! Throwing hands! Silence! In. You... Don't think I'll easily forgive this! Yo, quick grandstanding, man. What? Yo, quick grandstanding, man. You're gonna pay for what you did. What the fuck does grandstanding mean? This guy's Kandori? Doesn't look so tough. Let you take, I'll let you take him down, Narin. Let later deal with the boss. Undisciplined children are no better than dumb at than dumb beasts. Takeda, take them from my sight. Do it however you like. Just don't make a mess. All right. I just had the carpet dry clean. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, technically this is our first boss, actually. This is technically our first boss of the game. No, we fought that cop dude who was a boss. No, but the, but look at the battle thing never changed. This one did. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to steal the boss from you. I just feel like he would talk like that. Mr. Kandori, please, stand back. Never. All right. Don't let a single one of them escape. Kandori? These are the dudes that made the super weapon, right? Yeah. They're probably gonna be like, there is no super weapon, this shit just happened. What a surprise. I didn't expect that you'd be Persona users as well. Oh, he has one. Wait, don't tell me. You too? Wow, I thought I was just stupid. Oh, fuck. Oh, that one's sick! Oh, dude, that design's cool. Also, can we have more Persona v Persona fights in the series? Seriously. Yeah, but the thing is, though, it's like there's got to be a lore reason why there's less Persona users. Takeda, I leave this to you. You can handle a few children. Mm -hmm. I lost the voice there. <laughs> yes, Shit. sir. You're going nowhere. Oh, no, you don't. Wow, he just fucking bitched out. Damn, kids. You're not taking one step out of here. I taste the power of my persona. Wait, he has one too. Apparently everyone does. It's like a persona bargain sale. What is this? A persona bargain sale? You can hit with spells. If I ever had to do like a blind stat in the video game, I'd have it still like the screen blurs. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> Remember, what was that one horror game for GameCube? We have to play it, the one that fucks with your TV and shit. Eternal Punishment? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, that one. I mean, nowadays, it doesn't... Your TV doesn't do... A yeah, TV you, wouldn't do that, but back in the day, that must have been shit. Yeah, you need an old-school CRT to have the effect. If it's on modern stuff, it's not gonna work well. It looks just like Boo with the head. With the head. Oh... I like, unlike, I like how, uh, melee attacks that involve personas don't take HP, they take NP. I prefer that. Yeah, I'd rather have it like that, too. Leave it to me. 
Damn, you smacked him for 164 damage. We're actually going somewhere. It took like 40 minutes, but we pulled it off. <laughs> Somehow. The song's giving me simple and clean vibes. Well, they tried to go for a vibe more similar to Persona 3, so... The thing is, though, the music doesn't kind of not... Doesn't kind of fit. Because I looked... Like I said, I showed you the original OST. And it does not yeah, fit all that... Themed. Yeah, it doesn't fit all that well. Oh, you're blinding me again, asshole? So did you know the PlayStation PS1 Classic comes with this game? Did it? Mm -hmm. oh, oh my gosh. Albeit the American version where... Yeah, shit censored if you like. Mark was black? Yes. Oh boy. Bye bye, so asshole. I don't skin tone change. It doesn't make sense. To appeal to Americans. I'm going for a strength, vitality, and dexterity build. <laughs> Which is. <laughs> why would I do that? Strength and dexterity will also be different. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Alright, take that up. That prick, where'd he go? He took my fucking bong! <sighs> There's no sign they use the door. There must be another way out. That's Kandori, huh? Where have I. Huh? A long face, Maki. Huh? Oh, oh, I'm okay. It's nothing. Come His on. Super cancer's back. Let's hurry after him. He just comes in droves. Let's see where this asshole went. Probably for that door there. I'm saying back sword. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that was a closet. Okay. Who the fuck just keeps a random sword in their closet? Hey, what should I do with this back sword? I throw it in the closet. The button on the side of it. Let's check his desk. Oh, oh, there's something here. It's a switch. Does it? Yeah. Somebody pick up that phone because I fucking called it. Bingo. Good work now, yeah. I had him path, huh? Seems to love his cheap tricks. Now, yeah, let's hurry after him. Yeah, sure, you're gonna tell no, me but twice. No, seriously, has anyone seen my bong? <laughs> basement oh, bong. Oh, of course it's a basement. It's a hidden layer. There has to be a le basement by legal default. Yeah. Did Mother Tree ever tell you the story of how I became a mother in the first place? My roots were grand, and where are you going? I don't care. Ah! Titanium guard times two. Again? Yo, that is shit. Fucking damage trap boxes. Why can't it just be a mimic? Because it would be too easy. At least it's not like Sword Art Online where you like go for a fucking box and it just locks the room and doesn't let you TP out of their wife your party. Oh my god, yeah. I. By the way, he showed me a video a couple weeks back about Mother's Basement, and apparently he was talking about how none of the shit in SAO makes sense as an MMO, because it would suck. It was very poorly designed. And it was very clear the author has no idea how games work. Like, imagine being at the end game of an MMO and not being able to use magic. It's like, oh, Like, what is like, wrong what? with you? There goes your entire support and healer base. Not only that, he said it was skill-based and all, and all about reflexes. First off, no, that is not how that works. Not how it works at all. Literally I got the fastest thumbs and still lose at a game of Mortal Kombat because someone knows how to counter my moves. 
yeah, so reflexes are a no-go. And they made it so that beta hackers were like OP, or beta testers were like OP because they knew the ins and outs of the game. Here's the problem, those, like those, that shit probably got patched out. So they're like ins and outs. In reality, beta testers typically show new players the ropes when a game comes out, they always do. Yeah, and then there's like the rumors like saying- I did know, it for ESO. Yeah, and then there was like those, uh, they made it seem like the be like beta testers were like the, like, you know, like the villains here where it's like, oh, they're cheating or oh, they're hiding all the secrets. They're trying to help everyone live. They literally made a survival guide. Like, the, yeah, they literally made a survival guide and they're acting like, oh, they're the bad guys because they know how to play the game. They know the best places to fucking grind and steal all the, all the XP. It's like, they're trying to live, bro, like everyone else. Well, gamers be petty, so it's just the way it is. I still wonder, though, if you were to throw a bunch of gamers in that kind of life or death situation, what the fuck would they do? Like, would they turn on each other? Would they not? Well, we're going to have the COD players trying, you know, get the most broken build. We're going to have the actual MMO players trying to, like, live their life like in, like a, like a farming sim. We so got I will say, Helldivers is a very good version of the experiment. Because so far, the player base is banding together like I've never seen in a video game in my life. Yeah, but then again, they they don't have their life on the line, so... I still think they would, even if their lives were on the line. Hmm. Fucking incredible, that show. What is I this? Wish some that we made in the full anime, but no, we can't have nice things, can what we? What is this fucking map layout? I don't like it. I don't know, but those. They look more like salarymen rather than Yakuza. You couldn't escape. God damn it. Like, though, these guys just look like pissed off salarymen. Yeah. Well, they're not Yakuza, they're like <laughs> secret agents or some shit. Ah, damn, those salarymen packing heat. Oh, yeah. Inflict the charm status. I'm not a fucking salary man! I miss Ganson Bridge. <laughs> the guy who made that, funny enough, became a fucking children's author. He knew his comedy. Oh, he did. I'm seven a bridge. They had a series that, like, saved my love for anime when I was, like, getting out of it. Called, uh... It was called, uh, Love, Mary Kill or whatever. Basically, they took uh, 10 anime, they watched them every week, and the, the ones they don't like, they ship, they kill them. The ones they really like, they married at the end. Mm. Oh, so here you go. Back to Nikolai. His name would be fucking Nikolai. Are, are the adjustments complete? Uh, please. Let's consider this, Mr. Kondori. Stop the system and atone for your sins. Never! Dr. Nikolai, the genius scientist of... Of course, that's <laughs> name is Dr. Nikolai. Last name Tesla. The genius scientist who developed the Deva system. Preposterous. It's the rest of mankind that must atone Nikola Tesla. Oh, yeah. I feel like this guy was the main blueprint for SMT3's main villain, Hozawa, or Hikawa. He feels like he was supposed to be an SM the, SM the villain of SMT3 because he shares a lot of beliefs. By the way, if you eat my fucking Pop-Tarts again, I will shove you inside the machine. I have no quarrel against doing that. What I've done here is nothing more than facilitate that process. But, uh, young man, you didn't have to send them into a, the, the dimensional rift. What did you hope to gain by throwing away a child's life? Listen, the Shadow Realm never hurt anybody. I won't allow anyone to stand in the way, not even a child! <laughs> Wait, who the fuck did he throw in there? A kid, apparently. Judgment will come regardless. It's only a question of sooner or later. I think you can get this guy's gist. used to acting in this voice. I think you can get this guy's gist like, by now. screaming. That's the problem. <sighs> You're not going anywhere, mister. Like, I got it down with Mark. I don't have it down with him yet. Your time has come, Kandori. Oh my god, children. Ah, I had a feeling you'd come. So you beat Takeda? He was always useless. Guys like that are no sweat to us. Give it up. We're taking you in. Surrender now, we'll let you out with a life sentence. 
Jesus. Surrendered. He's hey guys, was I supposed to steal the dude's hot pockets from his fridge? Well, can you keep them at least? So that's where my hot pockets went, you bastard! I was just trying to improv and I fucked it up. Oh yeah, they could. you could definitely tell what they're writing. If they do remake the game, they could definitely add more to it. Loud noises from young children. I don't have time for you. The funniest time I ever used this voice was just a character in Katawa Shoujo who's just this crazy kid, and it's so fucking funny giving him this voice with everything he says. <sighs> I have ma I have manners to attend to. Come, Dr. Tesla. It's Nikolasa. <laughs> Yes, Nikolai Tesla. You are related to him, yes? Uh, we're like fifth cousins at most. Wait! Oh, wrong voice! Wait! So this is the Deva system. We're talking to his plans for this. You're evil! You hear him shouting from inside the machine. This machine, I... Where do I know this thing from? Well, that's sketchy. Why do I feel like her mother's behind all this? Well, remember she got shot? Oh, yeah, she did. Whoa, what the? Hey, does anyone feel like you're going to barf right about now? <laughs> yeah, what's happening? That was actually effort put in that scream. I'm disappearing, Tesla. What's happening? It's over, sir. You and I are going down together. For your treachery, for your crimes, for all mankind. You will atone. But literally, only this town's gotten taken over. Nikolai, you swine. How dare you betray me? Young man, if we are reduced to component atoms, the system will stop. The barrier on closing the town will be released. Leave us and escape. You out there, boy, stop the system. We kill the guy and leave him to die. Come on, old man. You don't have to throw your life away. By the way, you want about this weed? Oh, wait. Every new person. Oh, wait, you're a dead man. Never mind. <laughs> oh, wait. Dead men can't smoke weed. Let's save him. There's no need for the old guy to die just because of Kanduri. We'll smack down Kanduri ourselves. That's what we came here for, isn't it? Wait, the old man may have invented the system. He's taking responsibility. We should respect his wishes. We don't even know how to stop the machine. Yeah, let's listen to the old dude. We wow, get out of here quick. the stoner dude's like, we should just kill this guy. If we don't get out of here quick, we're in big trouble. Everyone's like, we should just kill this guy? No, yeah. Here, this is not the machine. The blue button increases the output. But the red person the emergency stop. If you push it, we could save him. Maki, where did you learn that? I don't know how I know. Internet. I just know. Now you hurry. Okay. Okay. Time to look it up. Okay, press the red button. No, wait. It didn't stop? Uh, it's, uh, it looks like it's actually getting worse now. What in the... I'm rematerializing. I see it's you. You're calling for me. Who? How could this be? My plan should have worked perfectly. Don't tell me. Is she... <laughs> What's happening? I've seen probably. You! I won't let you kill my daddy! Let's leave now, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to die! Now take me to your world! What? What the? Ah! Uh, Kandori! Ooh! <laughs> Are we going to the world of demons? Apparently so! Hey. 
I had a feeling this would take longer than usual. It always does. Also, not gonna lie, this transition, if you... Never mind. It's gross. I'm probably took, probably took a hot... Probably took a hot minute to make, though. <laughs> Everyone's oh, just... Shit. Oh my god, look at his ass tooted up. <laughs> The one on the right, look. Oh, I see him. Ow. Ma Marky, you alive? Mm. Ma so? Oh. You asshole. You absolute moron. Where am I? Oh, now yeah, you're all right. Oh, my hip. Ow. I feel like an old man. Oh, boy. <laughs> yes! We're alive now, Rin! Go me! I'm the luckiest! Hold on. <sighs> Looks like everyone's on hot. Certainly have the devil's luck. Hey, is this the gym? But it's the old one from six months ago. I get it. We've gone back. <laughs> Got back to six months ago? Come on, Maki. Snap out of it, even though I'm not that high. You mean, the time slip? That's rather different than what your mother said. I've told you before, I don't have a real mom. I never thought the stuff Yosuke was saying was actually true. Oh, there you are. It's really bad, Maki. Yosuke got seriously hurt. That girl in black came back again. No way, that's impossible, Yosuke! Hey! Maki! You, you think Yosuke is Yosuke Naito? He ran away with his girlfriend Chisato two months back, didn't he? That dolt. Can't believe she took off on her own at a time like this. Come now, ya. You better go after Maki. Don't gotta tell me I twice. Think it's a good time to call it for the night, though. Yeah, let's call it. Anyways. 2:30 a.m. where I am. Two. It's gonna be 2:50 actually where you're at. Or 2:50 a.m. All right, guys, we're gonna end the stream here. We've been streaming for almost a solid four hours, and I need to be gut. Holy get to, shit! And I need to get to editing this because most of it is just us wandering. So, um, if you guys like the stream, most of you probably did. Uh, and sorry for the clipbait thumbnail or title because you know I just wanted to piss off Persona fans. It wasn't like the clipbait any of you. I just wanted to piss off P5 fans, you know, because they're really annoying. Because it's fun. Yeah, it's a good game. Don't get me wrong. It's just I just wanted to get on their nerves. So if you got, uh, if you guys like the stream, then go ahead and subscribe. And if you guys are watching after the stream, then like the video if you think it's deserving enough. Subscribe if you think I'm worthy enough for your time. And leave a comment for anything you want to say after. And, uh, yeah, I am going to stop streaming here. And, uh, JP, you want to leak your stuff? Uh, you want to go see me play some Yakuza 7, uh, go, go to my channel, Japan Lover 79, and, uh, go nuts. Yeah. Have a good night. Night.